Hey everybody, John Johnson here, Nerd Dad Extraordinaire, here with another update. Here to talk to you about C720, Operations and Supply Chain Management. I just took the final yesterday and passed it. Today is April 11th. All in all, the class took me three weeks to get through, but that's with taking several days off because of month end, family stuff, trying to wrangle contractors to try and get some work done in my home, stuff like that. What's nice about this class is that Dr. Haywood and a bunch of the other professors, teachers, whatever you want to call them, uh, they put together an accelerator website with a bunch of videos and pages that are like dedicated to the information that you need to know for the exam. Dr. Haywood explains that he got the information from polling students and like asking them what they heard about or what they did on the exams and stuff like that, or at least what they could remember. Um, because they don't have access to the finals. So utilize the Accelerator website, watch all the videos, go through the OA prep guide. Um, Dr. Haywood says in one of his videos that once you take the pre-assessment that he'll send you a, like, it's a pre-OA quiz for you to take. Uh, I never got one, uh, but he also says that if you don't get it, to reach out to him or to one of the professors individually, and I didn't do that just because... I wanted to take the final. I took the I took the PA on Monday last week and just kind of gave myself a week of like studying and relaxing with my family before I decided to take the OA. And I took the OA and interestingly enough it was actually pretty hard even after I studied the accelerator website and all the videos and stuff like that. Even after studying, I mean I felt kind of like unprepared. Um I went back to study, it's a EOQ and EPQ, they're two like inventory management systems, because I didn't know what they were, um, and I read a paragraph that kind of talked about it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense, and then it gives like a an example. The example from the text was on the test, but that example's not found anywhere on the Accelerator website, the videos, the OA prep guide, or anything like that. So... Uh, I really didn't read the text all that much, but that one example that I read from the book was in the on the OA. So, uh, I mean, if you want to read way too much information, read stuff that you're not going to need for the exam. I guess you could read the textbook. Um, it's an acrobatique um, textbook, so it's very dense with a lot of outside reading and articles and stuff like that. I probably could have done the class in two weeks if I really pushed myself, but I've kind of um, had a little bit of burnout, and I think it was kind of my fault because I was expecting myself to do better or work faster or whatever. I gave myself 14 days per class, which I just don't think is super realistic. Hey, baby. Mm. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> You can't just come up here and steal my video. She disagrees. Anyway, my uh, biggest advice I could give you is to uh, use the <laughs> use the accelerator website. Um, use all the videos. Watch all of Dr. Haywood's videos on YouTube. Um, all in all, the class wasn't super difficult. It was actually kind of interesting. Um, there's some topics in here that are from uh, cost and managerial accounting like the cost equation ah! like they had total cost equals uh, variable cost times the number of units plus fixed cost which is something that gets touched on in cost and managerial accounting so just keep that in mind all in all I like the class I especially like Dr. Haywood he was very relatable uh, with his information and made learning the material easy because of the accelerator website and the video. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I hope this video helps you. Um, all in all, I liked the class. I didn't think it was too difficult. Um, I wish you luck. And if you need any help, reach out to me personally. You can ask questions in the comments below or whatever. Um, and I'll try my best to help you out. So, anyway, this is Nerd Dad Extraordinaire is out of here. And I'll see you next time.